it's Meredith from Nothing's Ever Easy, and today I'm going to share with you some Waldorf-inspired arts and craft supplies. My husband made this wooden block to hold crayons, and yes, we do own crayons. <laughs> they are like 50 cents at the beginning of school year, and my kids are still very um, aggressive. <laughs> and hard on their crayons. So I think if we had more beeswax type of block crayons or anything like that, I would definitely keep those put away for special times where I am certainly monitoring them. But if they want to color while I'm trying to do something else, they can use crayons. And of course you have the beeswax candles. You can buy the beeswax and roll them into candles. That is always really fun beeswax, modeling beeswax. So you just put those in your hand to warm them up or you can put them in warm water or something like that and play with that. That's always fun. And here are the beeswax um, rock crayons. I think these are adorable. These are for little hands I think like toddler age if, if I yeah, if I remember correctly. Um, and they do have the blocks and they do have the stick shape. I love using those. Okay, we also have salt dough. That's something fun to play with. You can also bake it or let it dry and paint them if you'd like. This is a klutz kit. And you get all of these things. You get the embroidery needles, which are hor horrible. <laughs> I don't even feel like they go through the felt. So I use a regular needle. All these little pieces and lots and lots of thread with the pattern book, stuffing, and felt. And the patterns, of course, give you the option of making any of these items. My sister-in-law had to help me do this because I had never sewn, like, ever. So this was a new trait for me. And it is very, very time-consuming for, for me. And actually, it was time-consuming for her, too, I think. So I don't get to, you know, that's why there's still stuff in here. I just, I do not have time to sit here for um, half a day making one of these. And if I did, I would totally make all of these because they're adorable. I really enjoy having the ones that we do have. To make this seasonal picture, I used um, matte pencils, colored pencils, whatever you'd like to call them. I really enjoyed making this. I thought it was really fun. I did it over a couple of days. It didn't take me just one day. And we did the color wheel. Sunday being white, Monday violet, Tuesday red, Wednesday yellow, Thursday orange, Friday green, and Saturday blue. This one is kind of like colors for the different months of the year. And I know you can do like herbs or oats or something like that. You can always add those into your picture. And adding bits of color. I, I think this is so pretty. A little pom-pom garland. And it's fuzzy and soft. I think I got this at Target in one of those bins. It was probably 3 or $5. Paper stars. Or the waxy stars. What do you call them? Kite paper. These ones are kind of sun dyed, I guess you could say. They were up in the windows like last winter and the winter before, I think. But they're still nice enough for me to keep in the girls' room. Some pretty cool things that you can incorporate into your home to make it more Waldorf friendly, Waldorf esque, um, would be to have a nature table. Just go to probably anywhere at this point, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, maybe even Target, you can order them online, is to get a wood block. I suggest Michael's, that's where we got ours, and if you have a coupon, you can get them for like under $10, I think. So that's always a good place to start, would be a craft store. Make or put candles on there. I do have two nature wood blocks that 
the first one, I tried to put my own holes in there and stick candles in it, which didn't really work. So there is like waxy candle-ness on the wood, which is totally fine. It doesn't bother me. So you can put candles on there. And then I have the other, the other one, which is really thick and circular. The other one I have is very is thin and kind of like oblong. Um, and you can put little trinkets on there. Um, you can put peg dolls or a wooden block calendar, any of those kinds of things you can put on your nature table. You can put herbs. You have some lavender, you can place those on there. Um, last year we had a huge bag of walnuts and we had a walnut, a wooden walnut cracker. And so I put the walnut cracker on my nature block with some walnuts. And anytime we walked by, hey, there's a snack. <laughs> 12 classics, 6 neon, and 6 metallics, paint on paper, wood, and more, perf perfect for posters, mess-free creativity, dries in 90 seconds, quick sticks, solid tempera paint. Uncapped twist and paint, no water needed, bright washable colors. I got this pack from Amazon. I mean, how cool is that? I know in the Waldorf Circle, watercolor painting is really big. And sometimes I'm just like, I don't really want to get all of that out and monitor. <laughs> Which is sometimes why my kids use acrylic paints, they paint their peg dolls, they can paint on paper, you know, and I don't have to worry about it. Except getting onto them for not cleaning up the area, the station. But when it comes to watercolor paintings, I feel like I need to be there, I have to put the paper in the water. You know, so I'm hoping with this, this is going to be another thing where I can just say, hey, y'all want to go paint? Great, get your paint sticks. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to our arts and crafts area. I'll let you know. This is one of the art drawings they did with the quick sticks, paint sticks. Um, super cool. I really dig it. I have a few Waldorf art supplies right here that I'm going to go ahead and show you for Waldorf inspiration in your home. Would be oven baked clay. These are like under a dollar I think at Walmart. Super fun, super cool. You can play with it for a while and then I think when that, whenever you make a shape or design or character or plant or animal, whatever that you want to make with this, then you bake it. The child can play with that or you can put it on your nature table. Just kind of depends on what you want to do with it. They have so many colors, too. And I think if you're going to suggest clay, I see no reason why you wouldn't suggest kinetic sand. This is super cool. I love this kind of stuff. Um, I have let my kids play with it in the kitchen because it's easy to sweep up. But they are increasingly becoming less careful. <laughs> I don't know what is with that, but um, I'm going to probably either keep this mandatory outside or in the garage. But it's really fun. Something that I got from Target. I had a gift card. Oh, sorry. There's a reflection from my light. Every time I film, the cat is like, um, yeah, let's play. <laughs> or I need attention. I don't know. This is from Target, and it's called Watercolor Pencil Art. Easy to do, great results. This is going to be something for Isla on her Wednesday nights when Scarlett does gymnastics and she does art. Um, a complete step-by-step -step beginner's guide to painting with watercolor pencils. And it won an award here. Oppenheim Toy Portfolio Best Toy Award Gold Seal. So this does say 9+, plus and she is only 7. This isn't something I'm going to be like, hey, here, go do this and have fun. It's something that I'm actually going to have to sit with her and do. Um, and I'm really excited to open it. So that's something to look forward to. How pretty is that? One thing I find when I watch Sarah Baldwin, Sundays with Sarah, she stresses the importance of having nice quality art supplies for your Waldorf students or children, whatever. And as far as I, I do agree with that, um, 
I think there's a time and a place for nice quality things when you are able to monitor and be there with your children through an art, a watercolor art session. I have this fantastic paper. It's really thick quality and I saw, I think on Living Tree and Sundays with Sarah, that you put this in water. Um, then you have your watercolor paints that I just put in a baby food jar and I have mason jars. You want something with a lid so that you can save it if you don't use it um, all in one, one setting. So you squeeze a little bit of this in there with the water and you mix it up. So I got two really nice paint brushes and I think the paint board came from Bella Luna Toys. Yes, from Bella Luna Toys. So you're gonna have to have your sponges and your water with your watercolors and your nice watercolor paint brushes, high quality paper and have yourself a fantastic, fun watercolor painting session. So I hope you can find some of these ideas helpful, useful. I feel like there's something for everyone. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please subscribe and stick around, of course. <laughs> we would love to have you here. Feel free to, ch to click any of the links in the description box if you find something that piques your interest. We have cleaning videos and RV videos, haul shopping videos and some vlog style stuff, and of course, homeschool.